Welcome to today's Big Brother 16 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Michelle Campbell. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you want to be house guest of the day, um, send me a private message on YouTube. And if you are requesting it for your birthday or some sort of special occasion, please, please try to get it to me in advance because it makes me really sad when I have to cross out other people's names that were already waiting in line and then I have to move them down. And it's just, it's sad. So get your requ your requests in early if it's for a specific day. All right, so let's talk about the game. It seems like some of the alliances may be shifting. Um, there's a lot of movement within that eight person alliance, the bomb squad. <laughs> I mean, some of them are already like, oh, I'm, this is gonna blow up soon. We gotta have something ready in place, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. A lot of them have been saying that, so we'll see if it makes it past next week. But anyway, I'm starting to wonder, is Frankie really loyal to anyone other than himself? I thought he had a really good thing going with with uh, Zach, but then he was telling Christine that Zach has a final three deal with Cody and Derek. So you would think if he was really 100% with Zach, he wouldn't be telling Christine all of Zach's secrets. So it's kind of weird. I don't know if he's more with Christine now or he just doesn't give an F, but um, it's pretty crazy. So Caleb, all of his HOH responsibilities are pretty much over by now, but he's still trying to tell people how to vote. That's not cool. So he was talking to Brittany and he's like, don't be the odd man out. A vote for Joey is going to get you on the block next week. What? <laughs> Are you going to be HOH again next week? Because I don't think that's possible. But anyway, all the recruits have been pretty much agreeing that they're going to vote with the house. Don't you just love when that happens? I know I do. So, <laughs> the house guests have decided that they're going to throw themselves a Big Brother prom because Donnie and Victoria never went to theirs, so that obviously means that this is the time to do it. I'm sorry, but it just seems like a ploy for Caleb to go to prom with Amber. I'm envisioning a lot of awkwardness and hurt feelings in the very near future. Amber reluctantly agreed to go to this prom with Caleb. I feel bad for her because this could really affect her game, this whole Caleb thing, because it's just, it could really ruin her game. But uh, Zach wants to go with Nicole, but he doesn't want to step on Hayden's toes. And then when Frankie heard that Zach wanted to go with Nicole, he was like, oh, well, why does he like her more than me? So Brittany and Joey didn't have dates, so they decided they're going to go together and Joey might dress up in drag. I don't know when this prom is actually happening. They were talking about maybe doing like Wednesday night. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. I think they're trying to time it also so that it's during after dark and you know they want to be able to go into the backyard and they're probably going to be on lockdown on Wednesday night so I don't know if that's happening but we'll see. So Nicole pulled Hayden aside and she told him you better stop acting weird because this showman's this potential showmance is affecting our friendship and it's not cool. So they kind of, you know, I think she felt a little bad after she said that, but Hayden was like, no, no, it's okay, I get it, it's not hurting my feelings, whatever. So then they were talking about strategy and Hayden was like, hey, guess what? Joey told me something crazy, I don't know if it's a lie or not so I'm not gonna tell you. Who does that? So I'm assuming that he's talking about the Team America thing that Joey spilled to him, but who knows, maybe there was something else, but I'm pretty sure it was that. So I guess he told somebody or Joey told more people because I could have sworn I heard Frankie telling somebody about it this morning and being like, oh, I hope I get voted into the Team America or whatever. So, Joey is realizing she's in a really tough spot right now, so she kind of had a little breakdown cry in the storage room, and Jocasta, Frankie, and Brittany all comforted her. They were like, it's okay, at least you get the whole summer. <laughs> Just kidding, they didn't say that. But it's true, like, it's pretty clear that she's going unless something crazy happens. So then Joey comes out with this brilliant statement. They really shouldn't put people in here who haven't seen the show. You think? We've been saying that forever. 
But anyway, Nicole had a minor freak out last night too. She's missing her family, she's missing her friends. She's young and it's tough being away from your family on your birthday. I get that. Um, she's also, it sounded like she was worried that she may have said something potentially offensive on the feeds. I haven't seen anything. I think she's just like kind of freaking out a little bit. So seeing all of the attention and love that Nicole was getting from everyone, Victoria decided it was her time to cry. So I don't even know what that was all about. I really honestly just think it was because she wanted the attention and she just cried into Frankie's arms. Seems like she got over him putting her up but we'll see. So let's talk a little more about everyone's favorite topic, Caleb and Amber. So they had their awkward, I have feelings for you, okay, discussion the other night. But now Caleb is trying to get over her and he says that it's happening. So Devin is like, I need to talk to him. So he pulls him aside and he's like, all right, Amber told me very, very early on, I guess before the feeds were on because no one can find it, um, that she's only ever dated black guys. So like Caleb is totally not happening. And he, he dropped this bomb. Oh, she said that I'm more her type than you. <laughs> that is not what you want to say to Caleb. Um, so Caleb was like, okay, whatever, I can respect that. So... Of course, Devin was like, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't act on it, whatever, I'm not here for that, and I know that you like her. He just had to tell him that little piece, though. So, Caleb is saying that he wants to move on, and his head is back in the game now. I really don't think so, because I just checked in on the feeds right before we were filming this, and Caleb was talking to Frankie, and it was just like more blubbering about, why doesn't she like me? I know she likes me. She doesn't! So, on the other hand, this Zanky thing could actually happen. Zach and Frankie. Cody and Brittany were having a little giggle fest um, slash delirious from being have-nots laughing session very, very early this morning slash late last night. Um, those have-nots are really having a hard time sleeping. But they were talking, and they were talking about Frankie and Zach. And Cody revealed to Brittany that Zach has said some very things about Frankie that I'm not going to repeat. <laughs> I guess this happened before the feeds came on. And he was just talking about how, like, he was really turned on by Frankie. And, like, he has never had a gay friend before. And maybe he's just confused. I don't know. But then Brittany was like, yeah, I heard some, him say some stuff like that, too. So, I mean, they do cuddle a lot. There have been plenty of bromances on this show, and there hasn't been as much cuddling as they've been doing, so this could be our first gay showmance that I remember seeing on Big Brother USA, so it's pretty exciting stuff. And I want you guys to say in the comments, do you think it's a showmance or a bromance? Zanky. Alright, so that's all I've got for you guys today, um, and until tomorrow, Three, two, one. edit. Hey, 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 hey.